The amount of mistakes found in the classic cartoon, SpongeBob SquarePants, is outstanding. So, in today's video, we'll be listing 5 slip-ups hidden in SpongeBob episodes. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know other cartoons you'd like us to cover on the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shout-out giveaway. Our first mistake can be found in the classic episode, Pizza Delivery, a fantastic episode from the show's first season. The plot of this episode is simple. Mr. Krabs randomly decides that the Krusty Krab will also make and deliver pizza, resulting in SpongeBob and Squidward going on an epic pizza delivery adventure. Now at the beginning of the episode, we see SpongeBob shining a Krusty Krab table. And if you look at the reflection of SpongeBob coming off the table, you'll notice that the anchor on his hat is a lot bigger than it's supposed to be. It's after closing. And I'd like to go home. I got it! I got it! Coming! Hello? Bye. Keeping on the topic of Season 1, our next mistake is hidden in the Season 1 episode, Squeaky Boots. In this episode, Mr. Krabs cheaps out when buying his daughter Pearl a birthday gift surprising her with a pair of old boots. Before she even opens her underwhelming gift though, there's a small mistake. When we first see Pearl and her friends, there's a delicious looking birthday cake on the table, but literally one scene later and the cake has magically disappeared. Don't get me wrong, Pearl is a big girl, but I doubt she ate an entire cake in 10 seconds. Thanks for the show, Dad. Now can we open the presents? Oh, all right. Presents for me. Darling little sardine, here we are. A creepy old lady places a curse on the Krusty Krab in the episode The Curse of the Hex. Fearing that his business will be ruined, Mr. Krabs begs the old lady to lift the curse, and she asks him to complete a dangerous task in return. After they complete the task, the old lady lifts the curse, and customers return to the Krusty Krab. But just as Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob are celebrating, the Golden Eel appears, and all of the returning customers run out. Now if you look closely at the line of fish, the green fish in the second to last place disappears into thin air as everyone is escaping. Okay, so this next one is incredibly subtle, so I'm not surprised that a lot of people missed it. In the season 1 episode, titled Sleepy Time, there's a scene where Gary puts Spongebob's socks onto his eyes. The stripes on the top of these socks are normally blue, with the stripes on the bottom being red. But in this scene, the colors magically swap for a couple of seconds as Gary puts them over his eyes. Here's a clip of the mistake with audio. what they say, curiosity salted the snail. In the episode Plankton's Pet, Plankton needs to de-stress from all of his constant plotting, and Karen suggests that he takes up a hobby or even takes care of an inferior life form. And that's exactly what he does, with Plankton adopting a new pet named Spot. Eventually, Plankton forgets that he's supposed to quit plotting to get the secret formula and sends Spot in on a recon mission to the Krusty Krab. We see tiny little Spot go in and run across the restaurant floor, while SpongeBob comes out of the kitchen. And if you watch SpongeBob in this shot, you can see his mouth moving, but no dialogue can be heard. 
Thank <laughs> you. 